안녕하세요 자 먹고 자고 먹고 자고를 지금 얼마나 하고 있는지 모르겠습니다 지금 시간은 오후 6시인가 5시인가 날씨가 너무 맑네요 날씨가 너무 좋습니다 아 진짜 움직이기가 싫습니다 움직이기가 싫어 아. 그래도 운동을 해야겠죠 오늘도 똑같이 그냥 팔굽혀펴기 위주로 하겠습니다. 아, 어저께 킹덤2 다 봤습니다. 아, 너무 재밌어, 너무 재밌어. 짱이에요, 진짜 짱. 진짜 너무 재밌습니다. What to avoid and when to see a doctor. CNN's new podcast has answers. Join Dr. Sanjay Gupta for Coronavirus, Fact vs. Fiction. Listen on Apple Podcasts or wherever you get your favorite podcasts. The fact that I'm even standing here in Ashgore oh. really is quite something. Snow has arrived in Sochi. So excited about Rio, so focused. What do you see as the biggest challenges? Oh. I'm Vince Cellini with your CNN World Sport Headlines. The coronavirus pandemic has impacted much of the weekend global sport, including Formula One, Rugby Six Nations, Golf's Players Championship, and all top five European football leagues. But they were able to decide a soccer title in India, albeit with no fans allowed, as ATK cruised past Chennai FC to lift India's Super League trophy. Avi Hernandez with two goals, his first two of the season, in fact, to help earn a record third title for ATK. For those unable to play, it was a time to reflect and try to help those affected by the pandemic. Football superstars like Ronaldo and Messi issued heartfelt messages via social media. Uh, NBA super teen Zion Williamson vowed to pay the salaries of all the arena employees who would have been working at his home court in New Orleans. An honorable gesture from the young big man. And finally, it might be the last major race we see this month. The annual Paris to Nice cycling event came to a conclusion in France Saturday, cut one day short due to the coronavirus concerns. An exhausted Maximilian Schachmann doing just enough to keep the yellow jersey by 18 seconds. The cycling tour, like so many other sports around the world, going on hold for the immediate future. And that's a look at your sports headlines. I'm Vince Cellini. It was the world's first stainless steel luxury sports watch. Famous watch designer Gerald Genta drew inspiration from a deep sea diver's helmet, which had an octagonal shape as well as riveted screws around the design. It sold for around $3,000 when it was first released in 1972. And you know, this was considered uh, both by the industry and by the general watch buying public as just a piece of inexplicable insanity. You know, you just didn't charge that for a stainless steel watch. And it, not only did they not go out of business, it has gone on to become the single most important watch commercially and aesthetically for Armand Piguet. Uh, they're avidly collected. Um, and uh, yeah, they, they are icons of modern watch design. It has gone on to become one of the most successful wristwatches of all time. Welcome back. Yet another pro basketball player in the U.S. has tested positive for the coronavirus. He's a member of the Detroit Pistons, but has not been publicly oh. identified so far. Well, the Pistons played the Utah Jazz recently, and as we know, two Jazz players have tested positive. And as CNN's Ed Lavendera reports, the apparently easy access the Jazz had to coronavirus tests is raising questions about possible preferential medical treatment for celebrities. 
15 minutes before the Oklahoma City Thunder and Utah Jazz were set to start a Wednesday night game, doctors in a state laboratory across town in Oklahoma City were learning that Utah player Rudy Gobert tested positive for coronavirus. The race was on to stop the game and control spread of the virus. The game tonight has been postponed. You're all safe. A team of state health officials descended on the basketball arena and tested 58 people connected to the Utah Jazz organization. Before this night, the NBA and team physicians were reportedly told to have plans in place in case players started showing coronavirus symptoms. The team didn't leave the arena until well after midnight Thursday morning. How did, how did the team get 58 tests when so, there's been so much struggle to get testing done across the country? How does this one team get 58 tests in less than 24 hours? Uh, we didn't know exactly what the situation was once we got the one positive test. We didn't know, uh, you know what the extent of that was. So you certainly do want to concentrate on those that had close personal contact with a with a positive case. Oklahoma Health Commissioner Gary Cox says the state can carry out a hundred tests a day. So the testing of the jazz team took up more than half of the state's daily resources. The uh, Oklahoma Health Commissioner tells CNN that the testing of the Utah Jazz basketball oh, team we, was we'll prioritized do. because of the symptoms several players were showing, but also because it was such a large group of people that had traveled extensively in the weeks before arriving here in Oklahoma City. At the same time, a string of celebrities have received coronavirus testing. Tom Hanks and his wife Rita Wilson were tested and diagnosed with coronavirus in Australia. Celine Dion says she was showing common cold symptoms and was tested after a series of shows in New York. The coronavirus test came back negative. And NBA legend Charles Barkley says he was tested Thursday. So uh, I'm just kind of in limbo right now. Uh, I'm hoping, and I'm really hoping it was just a bug. Uh, but I like to say I was in New York earlier this week because that was a hot spot. And when I got to Atlanta, I just wasn't feeling well. But across the country, the lack of coronavirus testing has been a source of frustration and criticism. Kevin Hankins says he spent a week at Disney World with his family and started feeling sick on the drive home to Georgia. And so there's no test kits that anybody's aware of. There, there's no other alternatives to go if somebody runs out of test kits. It's like the, you're, it's a brick wall that you're hitting if you need to be tested for this. The director of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases has said the U.S. testing system is failing. It was not designed for the kind of mass oh. uh, distribution that we uh. need now that we've seen in other countries. What this week has proven is that even though the Trump administration has said repeatedly that anyone who wants a test can get one, that's not true. Ed Lavendera, CNN, Oklahoma City. Well, the U.S. may soon receive half a million <sighs> coronavirus testing kits courtesy of Chinese billionaire Jack Ma. The co-founder of e-commerce giant Alibaba says he'll also send a million face masks and everything is ready to go. His offer came amid criticism that U.S. authorities had been too slow to test and respond as the disease spread from Asia to America's shores. Ma has also donated a million masks to Japan, almost two million to Europe. As fear over the coronavirus escalates, acts of kindness by people around the world are spreading something else, hope. CNN's Robin Kerno looks at a few of those good deeds. One of the most insidious effects of the coronavirus is fear. But when times feel as if they're at their worst, we can see hope through the actions of others. In Italy, residents shuttered in their homes broke out into a round of applause from their balconies in a show of gratitude for the doctors and nurses caring for the sick. Basketball star Steph Curry and his wife are helping to raise money to buy a million meals for children in California who may not have access to lunch anymore because of the school closings. We want to make sure that we rally around everyone and ensure that these kids are not wondering where their next meal is coming from. And local communities are asking people to buy gift certificates and vouchers to their favorite restaurants to keep revenue coming in as fewer people are choosing to dine out. A woman in Oregon tweeted about an elderly couple too afraid to go into a grocery store, so she went instead to get their food. Her tweet has been shared over 100,000 times it's a difficult time. You know, people are really scared. There's a lot of nerves. I see it um, in schools and uh, you know, grocery stores and other places around that community that I live in. Um, but, you know, kindness helps. 
People have been using the hashtag Corona Kindness on Twitter to spread positive stories of how communities are coming together as more and more people are isolated and sick. Robin Kerner, CNN, Atlanta. That is good to say. Well, thanks so much for being with us this hour. I'm Anna Corrin. CNN Newsroom continues just after the break. Hey, I'm Anderson Cooper. Welcome to Full Circle, a show created exclusively for CNN's digital audience. There's a ton of news that happens every day outside of Washington. I'll take you there. We are live in Asbury Park in Parkland, Florida, Kiev in Ukraine. And you can take me wherever you go. It's news with no limits. Whoa. That was a rather large explosion. This isn't TV. This is Full Circle. Live weeknights at 5 p.m. Eastern or anytime after that at CNN.com slash Full Circle. <sighs> Want a daily dose of Fareed and his team? Now you can get it with Fareed's Global Briefing, the newsletter that gives you the best insight and analysis on global <laughs> affairs. Go to CNN.com slash Fareed to sign up. <gasps> your new early morning lineup, The Brief with Bianca Novolo, Your World Today with Issa Suarez and Cyril Vanier. There's no better way to bring breaking news into context. <laughs> Sponsored by Qatar Airways. connections but some connections are easier to make than others with a CNN partner hotel the world is always at your fingertips CNN partner hotels connected to your world at CNN we see the devastation caused by natural disasters famine and war we also see how the generosity of others can change lives. You and CNN's Impact Your World can help. Reputable charities that are checked out by CNN. See the difference it makes when you give time, share stories, or donate. By just clicking the button, be a part of the solution. Impact Your World. I'm Ben Wiedemann in Northern Italy, and this is CNN. Across the United States as international travelers come home to endless lines, close quarters, and a lack of preparation. We'll have the latest. Well, businesses across Europe are closing their doors as sweeping new restrictions kick in. We go live to Paris. And things to think about before traveling abroad amid the pandemic. Well, live from Hong Kong, welcome to our viewers in the United States and around the world. I'm Anna Corrin. CNN Newsroom starts right now. Oh. We've been following the travel chaos overnight in some of America's largest airports as the impact of the White House travel bans literally hits home. <sighs> well, this was the scene in Chicago. Yeah, in Europe, we're all over the world. 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 We're all over
근데 뭐 마스크 쓴 사람이 두 명, 3인 상으로 봤을 때저 많은 수, 수천 명의 사람이 있을 텐데 마스크 단한 명, 두 명. 지금 이 사진에서도 두 명. 자료 화면에서는 지금 아무도 안 쓰고 있어. 뭐 마스크가 정말 그 100% 방역을 해주는 건 아니지만 기본적인 그런 방역이죠. 기본적인 그. 저 외국 사람들은 저런 게 없다는 게 구하지도 못, 구하지도 못한다고 하더라고요. 안타깝습니다. 네. 이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이
on Saturday and that took a lot of people by surprise. Many were still out in the streets of Paris enjoying a drink or a meal um, at the restaurant terraces here. When that announcement was made, the government giving restaurant owners just four hours before the shutdown. So a lot of people, it, it's really hitting home for them now that the, the severity of the situation. As of Monday here in France, all schools, universities and kindergartens will be closed as well. So there's a, re a real feeling now that this uh, shutdown is, is much more widespread here in France. All shops that are deemed to be selling non-essential items such as food and medicines are also closed too. So we're entering a new phase. France officially is in its stage three of its response to the virus, which means that coronavirus is now actively circulating all across French territory. All right, Catherine Norristrand, many thanks for the latest update. Well, the Spanish government is imposing a nationwide lockdown after a spike in coronavirus cases. It comes as the Prime Minister's wife tests positive for the infection. The strict measures on public movement now in place have emptied the once busy streets of Madrid. Journalist Al Goodman explains how it's changing life in the capital. Is what Spain's coronavirus state of emergency looks like in Madrid. A city of 6.6 .6 million people told to stay home, like the whole nation. With the restrictions, the capital is like a ghost town. This gourmet food market, which would normally be packed, is closed like all the other bars and restaurants in town. But it does make it easy to get one of these tourist tuk-tuks. Spain suddenly has the second highest number of infections in Europe after Italy. And Madrid is the hardest hit, with more than half of Spain's cases and fatalities. Prime Minister Pedro Sanchez wants to slow down the pace of new infections that officials say could overwhelm hospitals. Under the state of emergency starting late Saturday, the government banned people from leaving their homes except for a few essential activities. They can still go to food stores and pharmacies, but they have to go alone. People can go to work, but driving must be only for essential activities, not for leisure. This man out shopping for food is a medical doctor and a cancer specialist. I am reasonably concerned, he says, but also reasonably optimistic that this situation could be controlled more quickly than was being predicted. This butcher says clients are buying extra meat just in case, and there are still supplies for now. As quickly as we open, we might have to close, he says. The government says it will get worse. Many people don't know how this will play out. This couple just arrived from Britain for a birthday celebration weekend. Now they're out searching for food. I think the virus is spreading and all cities are going to be uh, getting worse, maybe on lockdown sooner than we think. I think it will be the same all over Europe very quickly. But the Spanish Prime Minister says not so fast. It will take weeks, he says, but Spaniards working together will stop the virus. Al Goodman, CNN, Madrid. The Vatican is cancelling Easter Masses and Holy Week celebrations due to concerns about the spread of coronavirus. The World Health Organization says Europe is the new epicenter of the disease and Italy has been the hardest hit in that region. Well, the White House now says it will screen anyone coming in close contact with the president or vice president for signs of fever. That resulted in one person being turned away from Saturday's press conference at the White House as the president waited for results from his coronavirus test. We get more now from CNN's Kristen Holmes. Well, President Trump surprised reporters and Americans when he announced at a press conference this morning that he had decided to take the coronavirus testing. Now, remember, this came after the president had said that he wasn't too concerned, that he would probably take it, but that he didn't have any symptoms. Now we have the results back. We're going to pull up this letter for you. This came from the White House doctor uh, late on Saturday night, and here's what it says. It says, Last night, after an in-depth discussion with the president regarding COVID-19 testing, he elected to proceed. This evening, I received confirmation that the test is a negative. And he goes on to talk about uh, the week after. It's been a week since President Trump had dinner with the Brazilian delegation at Mar-a-Lago and that they've been monitoring the president. Remember, at least one member of that delegation ended up testing positive for coronavirus. And this is really coming at a time in which we have asked the president repeatedly whether or not he was going to get tested. We have asked what kind of precautions he was taking uh, to keep himself safe. And essentially, the president said he wasn't going to change anything. Uh, he said he was going to keep having those rallies. Now, of course, 
He has since canceled some of those rallies, but he said he was going to keep shaking hands. We saw him as recently as yesterday shaking hands with everyone in the Rose Garden. Uh, even though those health officials were the ones who said not to come into contact, not to have uh, the handshaking to keep that social distancing. So this is clearly an effort here to ramp up the reaction to the coronavirus, particularly when it comes to President Trump and his safety regarding the virus. In Washington, I'm Kristen Holmes, CNN. Well, caregivers are preparing for the worst at one of the U.S. epicenters of the coronavirus outbreak. When we return, we'll show you how one medical facility plans to keep up as the number of new patients continues to climb. Transforming <coughs> business. Transforming communities. Dango to transformational projects. Transforming Africa. Sharif owns Mugrabi Agriculture, a company that grows fruits and vegetables across Egypt. Citrus makes up their biggest export. Egypt last year was number two in the world in exporting oranges. And this year, I think we are number one. Sharif sends 50,000 tons of oranges to 57 countries worldwide. Once citrus season ends and all the oranges are shipped, Sharif and his team will begin planning for the next harvest. I'm very happy with what I've done our team has done because it's never an individual effort and we would do it again today we live in an unpredictable uh, environment and news races around the world at breakneck speed uh, i didn't know what his intention was i knew it could be obstruction of justice my show brings you the latest news and top news makers are you playing with fire we also dive below the headlines to explore vital issues impacting our lives. It's about right and wrong. You have to stand up for what you believe in. We need to realize that our future is at risk and we need to take action. Was that kind of mortifying or did you enjoy I mean, you were great. It's crucial we make sense of what's happening. Do you regret that? Do you think there should be nuclear power or more commitment to a clean environment? New Zealand had its experience and changed its laws. To be honest with you, I do not understand the United States. Does love have a chance of winning? I will always believe that. And fully understand what's at stake. I'm on board, only on CNN. I'm Julia Chasley, host of CNN's newest business show, oh. Move. I'll speak to newsmakers, risk takers, and the ultimate game changers. Make CNN your first move. First move with Julia Chasley, weeknights. Coronavirus, what to do, what to avoid, and when to see a doctor. CNN's new podcast has answers. Join Dr. Sanjay Gupta for Coronavirus, Back versus Fiction. Listen on Apple Podcasts or wherever you get your favorite podcasts. <laughs> This is America. We gotta remember what matters. Friends, I'm Chris Cuomo. People come on here, they get tested, you get the benefit of it. How do you see where we are right now? Why not just own it? Tell the truth. You did ask me. <sighs> of course I did. You just said you didn't. How can you beat President Trump? No tax on the this is not oh, this, is about, it. this is about common sense. I understand your argument. I just hope you should probably all Tuesday through Saturday on CNN. All new oh. inside Africa. Oh. Unlocking the mysteries oh, of the you thought you knew. Oh.